And now as the Jefferson Parish Coroner, Jerry Stutanovich gives us more details on the cause of the death okay, of the six-year-old. Uh, my name is Dr. Jerry Stutanovich doing a follow-up on the autopsy yesterday of uh, 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 Bella Fontanelle, six-year-old female. The autopsy was performed yesterday by Dr. Dana Troxclair and Dr. Michael DeFata, two of our forensic pathologists along with the staff here at the uh, Jefferson Parish Coroner's Office. Uh, the autopsy was done with dignity and respect. Um, yesterday a decision was made to not release uh, any details of the uh, cause of death, although we did release the manner of death as homicide. That was done for two reasons. First was to allow law enforcement the opportunity to interview their suspect before release of any information. And more importantly, uh, the autopsy was performed yesterday afternoon. We didn't want to uh, release any information to the public, obviously, until we were able to explain uh, the circumstances to the family and explain all their, uh, answer all their questions, excuse me. So those notifications have been made. So I'm ready to release some information today because we really want to get ahead of uh, and, and, and dispel a lot of these uh, rumors that are running rampant on social media. Uh, our preliminary cause of death, as determined by the forensic pathologist, is um, manual strangulation along with multiple uh, blood force injuries to the head. Um, it's important, uh, I, I want to mention there was no dismemberment involved. And uh, before I finish, I want to you know, you know, say also, um, you know, EMS, 911 operators, law enforcement, the coroner staff, you know, this is not something we, we're happy to do. You know, it's something, it's hard to see and it's even more hard to unsee. And our hearts go out to the, the, to the families uh, of, of this poor young girl. Questions? How shocking or how terrible is it to see something like this happen to a six-year-old and to, for these findings to be released? Well, you know, we're, look, we're all, you know, we're all either a brother or a sister, you know, or a, or a mom or a dad. So, you know, everybody has a way to relate to, to what happened, uh, you know, to this poor girl and to her family. You said multiple blunt force uh, trauma. Do you know how many times? No, no, it's uh, it's it's multiple. I know in every case is typically difficult, but tell me how difficult was it for you all dealing with the you know traumatic experience with this six-year-old child, being that you know she died from blunt force trauma to the head. Tell me about that. Well, the, look, the staff here is 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 very very professional, and and and, and we're used to you know you know tragic circumstances and. You know, there are cases that, that, that stand out, and when it's a child, it, it certainly, you know, rings differently. And it's no different for us as it is for the EMS people who had to go out and confirm death, you know, and the law enforcement people who had to go and investigate this death. It's, uh, you know, quite honestly, it's, it's personal for all of us. Our anticipation would be that yes. Yes. I mean, the answer to that question is yes. Excuse me. Can you tell us how many times blood force trauma was applied to her? Um, difficult to tell. There was multiple um, uh, soft tissue injuries to, uh, around the head. Um, so we don't have an exact count. Any idea what kind of weapon was used? No. So Not at this recovered? point. No, not that we're in the, well, that's a question for law enforcement, sir. I know you all mentioned that you had to speak to the parents beforehand before being able to release this to the public. Can you tell me a little bit about how that conversation went to tell these parents the traumatic experience that happened with their child? Difficult. I mean, I'll just start off with myself. Difficult for me, more difficult for them, and difficult for the staff members that were with me. Uh, and, and, and who spoke to them before I got there. It's just not an easy thing to, uh, you know, to have to relay to somebody. You know, but we, we did. We answered all their questions. Um, and I, I, I hope that they're satisfied with how this was handled you know, by everybody involved, not just my office, but you know, by law enforcement as well. Parker, is this one of the hardest autopsies you've ever had to do? Man, we've had some we've had some tough ones. I mean, yeah, it, it's 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 hard to categorize one over the other. I mean, there's there's a lot of very tragic circumstances. You know, this one sticks out because it's today. 
you know, this one sticks out also to me. You know, I'm a parent of four kids. So, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know child deaths are always terrible, especially ones like this that should not have happened. Thank you all. Thank you very much. And you just heard from the Jefferson Parish coroner, Jerry Satanovich, just giving us some clarification on the autopsy results for six-year-old Bella Fontenelle. And he did reiterate that the cause of death is manual strangulation and blunt force trauma to the head. He said this was because he wanted to make sure any rumors out there online were dispelled. And he said this is just a very sad day for the community there as this case continues.